The one thing I know to be true is all your imperfections are perfection. Well, the evolution of my hair, uh, it, it's a long one, uh, but I'll make it short. <laughs> uh, so when I was younger, it definitely helped having a twin sister to bear with all the comments that we had to deal with when we were younger, because we've always had huge hair. Our mom was one of our biggest inspirations. I grew up with my mother who had this big 70s afro. It was just natural. I just thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. So when I got involved with modeling, I was constantly being told to straighten it or, you know, mold it or change it into something that it wasn't. Their distress about the way that I look with what I thought was beauty, which was my mother. I think my first modeling job was when I was 16. And I remember it too, because it was a very traumatic experience for me. Day one, immediately my hair was an issue. They were combing through my hair. It was like ripping out. Like by the time I finished the shoot, and it was no exaggeration, it was like this huge mound of hair. I equated my first modeling job with pain. and. <laughs> <laughs> um, little did I know I would equate it to, you know, mental pain later in life, but I do remember the day that I went into my agency and I told them that I no longer wanted to model and I decided that I need to move into a place where I could be happy. For me, I think my hair represents a physical manifestation of my confidence and, and the love that I have for myself because it took me years to really love all of me and that included my hair. It always constantly reminds me of that struggle that I had to go through to learn to love and accept every single part of me. The name of my blog is called Urban Bush Babes. I started it in 2011. The first blog post, we uh, released a video talking about like how to take care of your natural hair. We started seeing feedback right away. People were like writing and talking about it, like, yes, I've been there, and yes, you go on. It made me see how much bigger than I had previously thought it was, and it showed me I wasn't alone by far. Yeah, that was an amazing feeling. I think everyone's a, a voice of their generation. I think it's just up to you if you wanna step up and, and be that voice.